Okay. I figure tonight we could make some masterpieces together on dictionary paper. I had a live stream the other night where I created some painting papers with dictionary pages. So I thought that we could work on them. Hello, hello. People be showing up. The bus is coming. All right. The bus is coming. So I'm going to finish up this little piece that I'm doing right here. And then we will, I will show you what I did. So um, this one is hard to see because my paint pen kind of crapped out right there. And it's really making me. So I took my credit card and I scraped it into squares on dictionary paper. And I got to tell you, uh, I am really happy with the dictionary. Some of these, some of these. Um, it crinkles nice. It goes on nice. So I thought that we could, we could, um, you know, jazz one up a bit together. See, this one is cool. We could do something with that, right? So we'll work on this. And I decided they were not going to cooperate with me tonight. So I am whipping through some black lines really quick with my paintbrush to border my squares. Now, I know that all of you true artists out there are like, holy crap, those look awful. Wait, what? They're my awful crap. I hope everyone had a magnificent Christmas. The hop yesterday, the videos, I could not believe the amount of talent. And I mean, obviously, I could believe it. This community is just terrific when it comes to talent. Yeah, you could cut them up and do anything with them, you know. And they're on a dictionary page, so they're nice and thin. Um, you know, they would glue nice. They wouldn't create a lot of bulk in any on anything. Um and I mean, I don't know about you, but for some reason, dictionary pages just find me and stay in my life. So, uh, you know, I just figured, you know what, I'm going to slap some paint on them. And right now I don't have any dictionary pages in here. I used up this last little stack. But guess what's out in my storage trailer? More dictionary pages. So that is going to be what that's all about. And I'm trying, I'm, I'm not even caring about my straight lines. I'm just kind of winging it. Okay. We're just, we're wonking it up here. Because everybody likes the wonky art, right? So there's that. Now, um, one thing that I love to do is stencil. And on an unrelated note, now that I just beat everybody up, check out my soap loaves. Yeah, soap. I gotta cut those ones up and put them into other They didn't come out right. They're fine to use, but they are ugly. Ugly soap. You just can't, but they smell delicious. Let me just tell you right now. They smell amazing. Uh, Linda, let's do masterpieces today. We are going to make some wonky art. I got this idea from Lisa at My Effective Life. Um, and I thought that we could do some masterpieces. 
Oh, and if anybody didn't see Roy's video yesterday, Bootsy there, uh, go to his channel and subscribe because those boxes he made are kind of on cardboard. They were and let's see here. That's good. Let's see what I've got. This one has a uh, so yeah, my paint and not work, so I decided to invest in some hall space. All right, so I am going to take one of my little stencily designs. I'll put that right there. And grab a brush. And we are going to do, because I have this very nice out here, I am going to, let me see. Where am I? This right here. Ooh, I just painted my brand new shirt. I guess that's the price you pay for being, working with paint. You paint your brand new shirt. Ooh, see, that's pretty there. Are you, is anybody else having a hard time hearing? Because, uh. Sometimes I talk too quiet, but I'm right up against the phone here, so I don't know. I'll just do it. Let's grab some more water. You're having a hard time hearing. Let me see. Um, it's, it's using my microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. My internet, my internet isn't, uh, isn't the greatest. Uh, sounds like the cord is cutting out. I don't have a cord. I'm not corded. I'm not corded. I'm wireless. That one's fun right there. Do it in purple. Get some stenciling going on. And one thing that I like to do is take a color and it's got to be my internet my internet's got to be screwing up i'm sorry everybody i guess one of us has to have screwy internet each one of these hots right and this time it's my turn because i i lost i've been losing internet on my phone Recently, my Wi-Fi hasn't been working that well. And put some... No, that's too much of, like, the same. Green dots. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, good. Well, somebody can hear me. That's a plus. Someone can hear. All right, put some circles over here. And that is white. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for coming by. I'm going to use this color. We're going to pretend that it's white. Okay, it's fine. It's actually white. Which is something we all love, right? So there we go. Antique parchment circles. Ooh, I like that. I can't take credit for this. I saw this idea actually from one of Laura's favoriteest people ever, Gail Augustine. Um, she had a mixed media segment on her channel, um, I think in the spring or summer. 
doing these kinds of, of pages. And I just loved it. I loved it. And uh, I've been doing now I've started doing these kinds of pages. And I'm just so I am just so um, you know, Look, I even got a clean drop page for y'all tonight. Oh, don't worry, Roy. I can't keep up with the chat either. Nope, I can't either. I'll just pretend. You know, every once in a while, I'll just look up and whoever the last person is, you know, I'll talk to them. Ah, that one came out kind of sloppy. Let's go over here. Try to do this one in purple. Oh, I just painted my shirt again. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Paid 10 bucks for this shirt, too. Those ones came out kind of lousy. But later, when I actually get some paint pens that work, I can, uh, you know, I can outline them. Uh, Let's see. I can't find any stamps, which are fun. Because you get something like this. I got this idea from Nicole at Relax. And guess what I bought? Stays on. Um, you know, I had actually seen some interest about painting shirts and about creating with acrylic paint, which I thought you, know, you don't have to like really fit and all that kind of work right away. This summer, we tie dyed a bunch of stuff, and we have. Ooh, look at how cool that looks right there. We have a collection of stuff left to tie dye again, including salt. Um, I got my inks from a woman named Lorita. If you go on Facebook and you type in Jack about that, it's dead. I got something in so go put it down for mine. Yeah, we have to charge it in. Um, Jack of all crafts, she sells a lot of the inks and stuff. So I got my inks from her. And uh, honestly, I love doing business with her. She is just great. She really is. She is terrific. And I got them so fast. So even with all the shipping things going on with the USPS. I, I got those so, so fast. I couldn't believe it. And um, I put in an order, too, through Etsy with Christy Biddleston. And even that, it says it's going to be here tomorrow. And I know that they all say they're going to be here tomorrow. But the thing is, is I got the notification that it's So it really is. Again, you can take the credit. I'm, a, I'm an idea thief. Oh, yeah. If you're going to get inks, uh, I really like the stays on inks. They are. They really are something else. Um, and these are brand new, so they're really nice and juicy. I don't think the neon green would work, but I do have. What time is it? Oh, good. It's 7.45. Blazing red. So I am definitely a huge fan of stays on. If you're looking for permanent, if you're looking for permanent ink, stays on is probably the best in my opinion. Although um, a lot of people have looked at. 
Uh, no, those ones I didn't get from Marita, actually. Those ones I had, actually, two of them thrift store. I could not believe it. It was in one of those, you know, those bags that they put underneath the um, cabinet that they think, you know, is worth so much. Well, it's like $3.99, and it had that and a whole bunch of stamps. So that was definitely worth it. Maybe we'll make some bricks. Y'all want to make some bricks? Let's see. Let's grab a brush that's brick worthy. How about, how about a nice flat one? We are going to make some black. This one, I might outline my boxes after in white. I know, I'm sorry, those of you who are having problems with the sound. I'm really, I'm really, uh, it's really out of my control. I don't know if it's my internet um, or what. Sometimes my internet is screwed up. Yeah, it might just be my internet. Because my internet uh, has been going in and out. We lost power a few days ago, and I've been having some issues ever since. So it could be me. Um, it could be StreamYard. I've had a lot of people who have streamed on StreamYard that I have watched and their in their sound has cut in and out. So that that's another um that could be another culprit. But I'm really sorry. Um I'm really sorry to those of you who have to deal with it because I know how annoying it is to try and watch somebody and try and listen to them while their internet is and their sound and their voice is all screwed up. Make some circles. Woo! I have circle stamp right here too that I, I made circles with. But like what I like is that you, you can pull off, off all of these individual um, boxes and do whatever you want. Create, you know. Hey, what? You're so pretty. Oh, nice. I for Christmas. So they are just looking stunning. Oh, good, Kathy. I'm glad that the screwy sound is not affecting me because I really feel bad that it's I really do feel bad that it's screwing up. Um, so we have circles. What else? I'm just gonna do something. If I can get one of my stupid paint pens to work, we'll make a flower. Make a flower. Oh, does it work? Yeah. Sometimes YouTube sets your video settings, you know, at some really low number. Yeah, or, and I noticed that the video quality is less on StreamYard when you watch the replay. Like when I watch the replay myself, I'm like, how can anybody under you know see what I'm doing? You know, but it's the quality of StreamYard that does, it, you know. Let's see. Where can I put my purple? Move all my crap here. Too much. Too much going on on my desk. Hearing soap on here. Painty papers. These paint pens are just really making me mad. Um, to those of you that own Poscas, uh, how long have you owned them? In other words, how long do they last? Would you say? 
because I know that a lot of you have tonsils. And I know that a lot of you have had them for a long time. Like I just bought these last year. Yeah, see, I just bought these last year and the nibs, the nibs on the pens are no good. Like my black one is totally, um, see, and it's not even it's not dark. And I, I've had these, I just, I've had these pens out now since before I started streaming. So I've been using them and they're still not flowing out, you know? I think I'm just going to order a package of Posca because I think that these, I don't think you can really skimp out. I don't think you can really go cheap on some of this stuff like these paint bins. You know, I, st I store them like this. I store them down, sitting, laying down. It's what I was told. It was what I was told by the experts, I tell you. Yeah, Tanya, like the nibs, they're not even, um, like my black ones, they're not even, um, it's not even coming out. It's like crusted right shut. Which really just makes me mad. And the black one, when I shake it, sounds like it's empty, which I haven't used the black that much. I use the white, I use the black. And I like this here is cool too. Oh, they come with extra nibs. Oh, I'm going to try your cheese. I'll try your cheese before I try. I haven't bought the Posca ones a long time ago. And then the Posca ones went, I didn't buy it. And then they went way, way up in place. Oh, it was a mess with it. I like drawing the little squiggles, you know, I just like little squiggles in a line. Get some dark blue, maybe. See, I like this one. And I just bought these last year. Now, I try not to use my, um, I try not to use my Sharpie brush on the craft paint because it seems to, yeah, that's the hard one, Laura. You need a true red. It needs to be red. You know, like this one here doesn't have a true blue. This is the, this is the closest it gets and it's almost a periwinkle. But I like to make these little lines. I like the painters ones too, but you're you know, you're right, when they have them, it seems like lately mine's only had silver and gold, which, you know, just that's maybe what some people that's maybe what they just the demand is for, but I need more than just silver and gold. You know, but I was pretty disgusted when I took these out today and they were doing this. But I mean, you're right, too. You know, you have to use them or else they do turn into crap. And that's maybe that's what I did. I didn't use them enough.
you know, because I have a nice stuff. Yeah, Lori, it's it's at Walmart and um, they're in the craft section at Walmart. It's like the only peat pen that I've seen there. And they're you know, they're fatter than regular. Well, hello, Miss Carla. Nancy, I use these for everything. And these pa the papers I did it on are dictionary pages. And uh, the thing I really love about the dictionary pages is they're thin. And I cut them up. I put them on tags. I cut out little pieces and make them into cards. Um, and that's another thing, too, that I think are is really overlooked with the painty papers. You cut a piece of this out and create a mat and put it on a mat, it makes painting papers make gorgeous greeting cards. So never, uh, you know, never underestimate the power of a painting. Don't. Just don't do it. See, my white one is like juiced right up. Juiced right to death here. And you know, I outline. This is an activity that's really nice too when you're sitting around and you're watching TV and you want to just, you know, it's like Zen tangles where you can, and you can even do Zen tangling on these, you know, with your paint pens or just doodles in general. Um, but you know, you take your paint pens or your markers or whatever, and you. Draw on the paper. How do you know? Maybe they don't. Oh, that's Lily saying hi. Um, yeah, if you want to talk about losing things, I have three brand new pairs of scissors and I can't find them. I found one pair and then I lost those again. Apparently. Apparently that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have to I just keep buying scissors. Although I like the student scissors, the ones that are Fisker's student, they're for ages four and up. I mean, 12 and up. So I buy them on clearance at Walmart after um, back to school is, is uh, done. And it works out really nicely. We'll go back to this one now that it's dry. And um, a dark color. Don't get out of here, please. We're not going to talk like that. Six minutes. Oh my God. Yeah. It's hard. I don't have any breath. Everywhere I was using. Yeah. And then. You know, I go through and I just circle things. Who cares, you know? Do it up. Oh, and if anybody has a hard break, then go there and buy batteries. They have 20 packs of AA and 24 packs of AAA for $1.99. 
2013 I bought some. And I only bought one package because I was supposed to get some from Amazon, which cost way more than that, let me just say. And I got an email from Amazon tonight that said, oh, your order's not coming. For whatever reason, they're like, nope, ain't, ain't going to ship it. Not going to be. She's like, well, good thing I did buy some today. So, yeah, Harbor Freight has the batteries. Oh, 5 a.m. I got to sleep until 8. I mean, Lily was up before 8, but I told her, I said, you're going to have to wait a little bit, kiddo. Yeah. And she did, but she couldn't wait. She knew, knew I gotta, we got to do this. I like the torturous part. You make coffee. And you're like, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to have coffee first. One year, we even had breakfast first. I was like, uh, you know, life, it's all about the torture. You know, you torture the kids, torture the ladybugs. It's all about torturing those ladybugs. I'll tell you what. Yeah, she was talking. Yeah. She's nuts, I tell you. See, this isn't coming out that good because this pen is very sharp. But I don't care. I'll stamp over it or something. You know? I love that you're all hanging out. I love this, though. I love these hops. Just making it wonky. Just making it crazy. See, and then I could go through and I could draw around all this stuff. I'm sorry if I if a lot of people are cringing at my my skills. My lack of my lack of skills. Maybe just go through and put some purple dots. Just use up some of my purple paint here. Bum, 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 bum. For no reason. No reason at all. Just purple splotches. They are. And you can do whatever. And like I said, it's just a dictionary page. I just have a ton. So I said, you know what? I am gonna I am gonna they are fun though. They are fun. Is that her phone, though? Yeah. Mamie, go put that on the table so I can charge it in, okay? Well, I'm not... Oh, okay. It's oh, it's already charged? Okay. Oh, I really love this, too. Yes, she spins. Yes, she is so talented. I love watching her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when you're done, you take your scraper card and you just scrape all your paint. You scrape it to make it like the drop paper. Right? Make the art. This is my drop paper from last night. That's what I did. So you know, and I could always, you could add more. I got to do some outlining in my boxes here. Um, no, it's probably in the other room on the floor. And uh, there's no limit. There's no limit at all to what you want. Yep. Yep. Um, 
And then, like I said, I love the, how thin the paper is. And you can just throw it on anything and it's not going to bulk it up. And crunchy. I'll leave you on this note. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, crunch. So there. You have your crunches. This is the one I was working on before you guys showed up. See? I made a little flower. And uh, some dots. This was with my one of my crappy paint pens. But after this. This was the ones. I'll let my kids pay these. Because they are just. Stuff. And see and look at your drop paper turns into art. Oh, thanks. I, I don't feel <laughs> I don't feel very talented. I just slap paint on things. But like I said, I got this inspiration from Gail Augustinelli. She did some gorgeous stuff with her um, drop papers, and the 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 possibilities really. Um, but yeah, head on over to see she spins. She does some amazing things. And uh, I love you all. And thanks for hanging. Ta-ta for now.